everyone thank you for coming back to my channel i'm stephanie if you're new here so i have an exciting haul for you guys i went to the dollar tree i've heard a lot of youtubers are starting to go to the dollar tree now to go get groceries so i wanted to go check it out and see what was all at our dollar tree for food for our family all right so i'm going to take you guys along right now to go to the dollar tree we are going to check out everything that they have there i am going to pick out a bunch of candy for elf on the shelf we do elf on the shelf until the night before christmas so this is one of the activities that i like to do every year with the kids and i don't always add candy to what elf on the shelf is doing sometimes elf on the shelf gets in trouble and he doesn't have any candy to share that day so we liked to add just some candy or some certain kind of activity or craft with elf on the shelf so i wanted to go to the dollar store to see if they have anything i did find these cute little plates there i like to look and see what they have because i like to make like cookies and stuff and then put them on cute little plates they have all their christmas tags they have wrapping paper ribbons and bows and all of that at the dollar store i did pick up two boxes of hot chocolate this is going to be one of the elf on the shelf things that they're going to get they also have these santa hot chocolate bombs which are pretty cool and then they have these peppermint things that you can add to your hot chocolate i also got this little maple syrup so i'm going to give that to one of the boys i'm thinking that maybe some people add that to their hot chocolate i'm not sure they also have some peppermint spoons. I didn't get them this time, but I did end up coming back to the dollar store and get more coloring books, some more hot chocolate, and then the peppermint spoons, and then some more of them cheese sticks. So they always have these plates here. I always come and look and see what they have for the certain seasons, and this is usually what I decorate my table with. So if you guys ever seen any of my decorations when I've done stuff, it either is from Hobby Lobby or is from the Dollar Tree. All right, so they always have little stocking stuffers and cute little things. I'm surprised they even had this much stuff still available at our Dollar Tree unless they restocked everything because usually a couple weeks into like December, everything is already picked over, but they had still a lot of stuff for like stocking stuffers or last minute Christmas gifts. So perfect place to go if you guys are on a budget. I did pick up more of these coloring books at another time because I gave some to my granddaughters and my kids really liked them. They thought they were really cute because they're so big. So for $1.25 for a couple, you know, maybe like an hour of play, that is perfect. So maybe for your grandkids or your kids or someone special in your life that you're looking for something extra, grab a box of crayons and a big coloring book and maybe some peppermint sticks. So that is fun. They also have all these craft ideas. I didn't really find anything that I liked. Sometimes I'll go to Hobby Lobby and I'll pick out some crafts and stuff for the kids. I like to tie in crafts when I know that I'm going to be extra busy, maybe cooking something. And I need the kids to like just stay busy at the table. I also will um, just, you know, pull out some paper stuff or paper craft ideas. But Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby are the perfect place to get these little crafts. They also had some cookie tins. They also had these little stuffed animals here, which were so cute. So I picked up two of them. I did give these to our dog. Um, but if you want to get more of a dog item, they do have a dog section at the Dollar Tree. I just really wasn't thinking about it. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, maybe Lola would like these even though she shreds them in like two seconds. So I thought that would be something fun for her. And then they have all different options and they make little noises and stuff too. So if you're looking for some little stocking stuffers and stuff that you still need to get for Christmas, this is the perfect place to go. Also, they have a big aisle just of Christmas candy. Now, I used to get Christmas candy here from the Dollar Tree in the past and not all of it is like the best but if you're looking for something really quick um, this will do so I'm just going to pick up more candy for Elf on the Shelf one of my kids cannot have peanut butter so I will tie in something else with that snack that day um, but otherwise yeah I needed to just get a bunch of stuff they also have these 
cookie trays here. So I did get this one cookie tray because I make sugar cookies and different cookies and I thought this would be fun to add to that. They also have Christmas activities, Christmas fun little activity stuff in this aisle. So I did end up picking up these. When you throw them up in the air or you pound on them a little bit, they will inflate and then it's like a little balloon. So the the kids really like these, so I got a bunch of them. And that is going to be one of the Elf on the Shelves. If you guys are doing Elf on the Shelf and you are exhausted with all of the activities that you need to do, a lot of times I just hide the Elf and then have candy hiding around it. So that's all I do. Sometimes I'll do fun little um, activities or fun little sayings with him, but not always. I am not really good with Elf on the Shelf. So sometimes he's hiding behind the TV with some extra pieces of candy and the kids love it. So you don't have to do anything real big and special when it comes to Elf on the Shelf. I know a lot of people get stressed out about it. Sometimes it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to hide Elf. So I will go out and just quick find a place for him to go. All right, here is all the tablecloths. So they have all of that there. They have all of their Christmas bags on this wall. I'm not sure how your Dollar Tree is lined up, but for all of like the holiday theme stuff they kind of have it in this one corner of Dollar Tree they also have some fun ornaments they have a lot of DIY stuff at the Dollar Tree which once in a while I'll do some DIY stuff but I usually get a lot of my stuff from Hobby Lobby when it comes to that so but they do have a big selection of different things that you can get from the Dollar Tree all right so with these candies my kids like mints I have a little dish by the front door and I've been putting mints in there and the kids have been liking that all right so they also have these little DIY Christmas trees which are fun and last year a lot of people were doing them all right so I got two bags of chips. We're just going to try it out. I also found this nacho cheese there. We're going to give that a try. Uh, you guys know if you guys follow we love queso. We like cheese. We like chips and cheese. We like anything like that. So I am going to bring them home and give it a try. Um, now at Walmart we get our nacho cheese and it's probably pricier than at the dollar store. Sometimes when I mention our pantry stuff I like to say not to go to the dollar store when you're buying canned goods because you can actually find cheaper at Sam's Club, Costco, or Walmart. So if going to do like any prepping or anything and you want to start out small, Dollar Tree is perfect. Otherwise if you're going to go big scale, probably go to the bigger stores. They're going to sell that stuff in bulk and you're going to get a cheaper rate. All right, for our crackers, I got some whales and then my kids love these cheese sticks. So I ended up coming back and getting more because my kids ate them up really fast. I don't usually get them very often. So I'm going to start over here. I'll show you some of the food items that I got. I did get some chicken broth there. So our dollar store is $1.25 now. Uh, so the price is just a little bit different but uh, I did get a lot of stuff I feel for a hundred I think I spent a hundred and nine dollars there and I got a good amount and I I really like it that I was able to do that now the bags of chips are tiny so the price probably outweighs me just getting it from Sam's or Walmart because I could get like three bags for this for the same amount that I would just pay anyways for a larger bag but whatever it's just the experience of going and if I like it maybe I'll get more and do more of these hauls so okay so I got the chicken broth I got these drinks I just got something similar to this on my last haul sparkling apple cider no sugar blood orange I'll look into this this only has 10 calories I got two of these pizza crust so for a dollar 25 a crust that's like a uh, really cheap pizza actually so we'll have this and then I got this meat sauce, and I usually get meat sauce anyways, or meat uh, flavored pasta sauce for $1.25. So I'm spending more at Walmart for stuff like this when I could just go to the dollar store. I don't know how big of a grocery order they'll let me get there. This was $1.25, this was $1.25, and then I already have cheese. So for a dollar for three dollars a pizza isn't so bad versus the cost of pizza now. So I have two cans 
Um, I'll probably only need one can for a pizza and then I have the cheese so the kids can make pizzas. They didn't have any more. This was the last two that they had there. I got some lemon juice. We always use lemon juice for whatever. The kids will add it to their water too. Nacho cheese for the chips. I got two of them. And this this is medium. So we'll see if the kids like that. I got some mandarin oranges. We always go through mandarin oranges. All right, so the only thing that's different is when we do our pantries and we wanna stock up on groceries or like stock up on cans, sometimes the Dollar Tree isn't going to be cheaper if you're going to buy in bulk. So you're gonna buy, uh, let's say I got three cans here and at Sam's or Costco or even Walmart, you can get the cans, more cans for um, cheaper there possibly. So just kind of look around for prices that way. Um, I just wanted to go because I didn't realize that they had a lot of this stuff there. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, and now that I know I can go do more uh, Dollar Tree hauls for you guys. All right, for one of my kids that works out every day, uh, he asked the other day to get him some regular oatmeal, the brown sugar. So we're gonna give this a try. This has 20 grams of protein versus the other one. Probably has more sugar in it than these. I don't, I can't see that right now. I don't have my glasses on. So uh, I'm gonna let him try these out. And if he likes it, I will get more. So I got the maple and brown sugar. I got him one peanut butter and honey. So I got a bunch of them. So hopefully he likes that. For a treat this month, we'll make some cupcakes. And I got the Oreo kind. And then, so I got two boxes. Because on the back, I think it says 12 cupcakes. They're smaller boxes. And I have the frosting. So at Walmart, I don't know the difference between prices. But I can get cake mix for like, I think it's like 99 cents or 98 cents for a full pack so 24 of them we're here i'm spending two something three it's not going to always maybe be cheaper at the dollar store so up to you i just want to share with you guys what you can get there i also found these smoothie things there uh gluten-free no sugar added my kids have smoothies all the time they did have another kind um but i didn't get it because i didn't think my kids would like it so this is mango passion fruit and banana i only got three they can split one just to see if they're going to like it or not so even though i have eight kids in the house maybe only three or four would try this out so they've been drinking a lot of hot cocoa lately so i got two boxes so 12 hot chocolates um, i can probably get more I got a thing of white bread to see if they like that. I did get two things of English muffin. My kids love English muffins, so I got two of them. So $1.25 a piece, that is great. Um, I got the chips, I got two things of coffee. I got the bourbon vanilla, and then I got the ground coffee vanilla cream brulee. So I'm excited to try that. I think my cousin mentioned fish tacos, so I got this pack. And my kids like this, the sweet and salty, sweet and salty kettle corn. So I got two of them. My kids like croutons. We like salads. So I got that. We always have Nutella on hand. Um, Evelyn eats Nutella with her waffles. I'm going to give this a try and see if she likes this. This is probably going to be cheaper. Uh, Lauren mentioned uh, key lime pie for Christmas. So I got two crusts from there. I did recently get some turtles on my last grocery order. It was from Aldi's, so we'll try the whales. I got this big, huge coloring book. Uh, this is the one that I was talking about. So I'm excited for this, and the kids can have fun with this. So I think I'm going to go back and get more of that. I got some ready oven lasagna. I have about six or seven of these anyways stored where we put our noodles i just wanted to try these out i don't always get my kids juice but i thought this would be fun for one of the meals so i got two fruit punch and two grape so that's kind of fun and exciting i am going to try this out so i got some of these um tostadas and then we will use some wraps i got some refried beans we'll try that all together maybe some enchilada sauce I don't know. We'll put some cheese on it. We'll make that up for one of our meals. And then 
I already said the pizza, so we'll make that up. I got some plates there. This will be fun. Uh, little plates for one of our lunches. I did find these little characters there. This one, if you push the button, it makes noises. Um, I am going to give this to our dog to play with. I will watch for that piece in there. He also, or she also has other toys that had a little squeaky thing in it. And she always gets to that point where she finds it. So I got to be careful uh, with that little piece in here. Um, but she'll have fun with that. Whoops, I just pushed the button. So last year for Elf on the Shelf, I got these little whack a dack balloons. Um, so you just pound on them and then they puff up. They're really cute actually. So that's probably going to be an Elf on the Shelf thing. I have some Hershey Kisses. So three packs of them. That'll be Elf on the Shelf. Some of these mints. I have a little decorative plate that I got from Goodwill this last year. And I've been putting peppermints in that little dish by our front door. So I will um, put these in there. For Elf on the Shelf, I'll put out some Reese's Pieces. And then I also have these candy bells. And some of these milk chocolate little, little things, little snowmen and stuff. Um, some uh, Santa marshmallow treats. So I thought I had two of these but maybe not so that's probably not going to be enough but maybe i can tie in a bunch of treats the kids like these peppermint sticks i think they are so they like that this is mine this is probably the uh, one of my favorite chocolates i got these york mints and the kids can use this for their hot chocolates they do carry the peppermint ones there but i didn't want to get that um, for one of my kids, he loves maple syrup, so I thought this would be cute for his waffles. And then for uh, Elf on the Shelf, I got some Smarties, some Sour Patch, more Sour Patch, and Extreme Sour. And I got this Christmas plate for cookies. And my kids love these cheese sticks. I've gotten them before at Sam's, um, but the dollar store has them for $1.25 each. So I thought that would be um, something they can, they can have for like a snack or something. Here's everything on my Dollar Tree haul. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and if you guys think I should continue sharing what I get from the Dollar Store. If you guys think that I should do another channel on just things that I find at these stores, also let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing it on my channel. And if you guys are enjoying it, then I might as well keep it here. So that is everything for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.